definitely from math three uh, because we're not actually doing anything to get rid of the I. We're not actually dividing here. Um, we're just reducing the numbers. So if you had 15I over three, and you needed to reduce those numbers, what would you get? Five I over one. Yeah, 5i over 1, or you could just say 5i. If you have 5i over 1, it's kind of like having a whole number. You don't even need the i on the bottom, right? OK. For number 2, uh, 24i over 2i, what would we get if we fixed this problem? We would get 12i. So two ways of fixing this problem, you can say the i's cancel out. You have an i on the top or an i on the bottom. Or you could think of it like we thought of it on Friday, and you could think of it as like, oh, I'm rationalizing it because I know uh, that with this, I have an I, which is like a square root. And whenever we have a square root on the bottom of a fraction, we multiply by that square root on the top and the bottom. Um, and if we do that, what is I times I? Yeah, it's I squared, right? Um, so if we have an I squared on the top and the bottom, um, we have a negative 1 on the top and the bottom. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, it's going to simplify to the same thing because we end up getting a negative 24 on the top and a negative 2 on the bottom. And then that still gives you 12. It's two different ways of doing the exact same thing. So either you could cancel out the i's and then say 24 divided by 2 is 12, or you could say there was an i on the bottom, so I went ahead and I rationalized it, and I got rid of the i that way. Two different ways of doing the exact same problem, OK? Uh, if it were me, I would use Tyler's method, to be honest. I would just cancel out the i's and divide. All right. Um, so if we keep looking, there are some, like, if you look at number six, um, you have, two, let's say three, probably is not going to need a lot of space, four is probably not going to need a lot of space, five, probably not a lot, okay, so six, uh, four plus two i over 6. So we're going to have to be careful with this one because with this one we have three numbers instead of two. So anytime you have three numbers, if we remember back to math 3, we have to be careful. How do you reduce when you have something like this? It's kind of the way an answer looks when you have done the quadratic formula. So how would we simplify if we have three numbers? You could put it in the calculator, but if I wanted you to do it by hand. Kind of like a GCF, yeah. So what's the GCF? We don't really need it for the bottom, but what's the GCF on the top? Two. So we'll take out the GCF of two, and then what's left over? Two plus i, and the 2 plus i can't be touched. Those are inside parentheses. But what about the GCF of 2 and the bottom? Those can be reduced, right, by 2. So the 2 cancels, and then on the bottom we have 3 left over. And so we end up with 2 plus i over 3. So you can say, let's do this by factoring. Let's take out a GCF and then reduce everything by 2. Or you could look and you could say, all right, all of these are divisible by 2. Let me divide every single piece by 2. Both of those methods would work. Okay, So we have to be careful of that. Um, similar ideas for 7 and 8 and 9 and 10, those are all very similar problems. Uh, number 11 is the next one where you see something being different. So I'll leave some space. 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11.
anybody have an idea that we could start with here? We're going to multiply the top and the bottom by something. Starts with a C, right? Conjugate. We're going to multiply by the conjugate. We learned that on Friday. But before we multiply by the conjugate, we can go back to math 3, and there's something that we can cancel out on the top and the bottom. Yeah, the 4 plus 2i and the 4 plus 2i. This is a complex number that is the same. It's kind of like having a 5 over 5 or having a, a negative 3 over a negative 3. It's the same number on the top and the bottom, and so it can be reduced. So I'm going to reduce this fraction by the same number on the top and the bottom. Okay, so after this, go ahead and write the uh, conjugate that you're going to multiply by on the top and the bottom. All right, so what's the conjugate? Three minus five i and three minus five i top and bottom. Okay, so the top is pretty easy. What do we get on the top? Yeah, just 3 minus 5i. Uh, and the reason we get 3 minus 5i is because when you cancel things out like this, it leaves a 1 behind. So the 3 minus 5i on the top is technically being multiplied by a 1. So it just leaves, when you multiply it by 1, you just get 3 minus 5i on the top. And then what do we have to do on the bottom? How do we multiply those on the bottom? We foil them. Yeah, we foil them. So we've got 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times negative 5i, negative 15i. Uh, positive 5i times positive 3, positive 15i. OK. And then last, we have. Let's make sure we can see. Uh, positive 5i times negative 5i. Negative 25. negative 25i squared. OK. So this works out every time we do the conjugate. The two middle terms cancel. And then the number on the end, negative 25i squared, becomes what? positive 25 because it's a negative 25 times a negative 1. I squared is negative 1. So that's a positive 25. Okay. So what is the number on the bottom? 34. Okay. So the answer to this is 3 minus 5i over 34. Okay, um, and I think that's all I need to show you to be able to do this worksheet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the entire worksheet, 1 through 20, and then I think we're also going to do the challenge problems if we have enough time to get to them. Okay, sound good? So that's the plan for today. If you guys need some help, need to ask me questions, we can do that. Um, and then we'll see how long it kind of takes us to go through there. If we end up finishing this because it's something that we, we took notes and we were here on Friday or we weren't here on Friday, but we're figuring it out quickly and we are ready to move on, we can. But if you guys feel like you need to use the whole period, that's fine too. Okay? All right, go ahead and get started.